hello everybody welcome back to the channel we're going to um, do a couple of things in this channel and one thing we're looking at today is bringing in a stat file into SolidWorks um, I was working with some customers and uh, I just wanted to check out to see how we can do this but I'm gonna take it one step further right I'm gonna import a stat file I'm going to convert it to a sheet metal part and save it as a SolidWorks file. Then I'm going to use my plugin for Radan Radbend and pass it into my bending software. Okay, so hey, another thing is make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel. That way you get all the notifications and all the videos. And if you noticed uh, late last night, I updated the bonus video for Tuesday and that was running a Trump machine TC5000 with a part picker okay so let's get started so here we are we're in SolidWorks my main screen here I'm just going to select open when I select the open tab it brings me to my browsing folder and you can see I've already got um, in my libraries here if I go to libraries I can search for my 3d files so I've got 3d here right and 3d this is where I keep all my 3d um, components um, I'm actually going to use this printer SAT file right so in the SolidWorks here you see the drop down you've got many different files you can choose from a step um, but I'm actually using the step file they, they seem to do pretty good and so do the step files do pretty good when you're using a third-party software and you want to import them in right so if I open up the step file here I'm gonna hit open it's gonna start the progress here and we're rolling through this okay so now you can see here is the SAT file format that I opened in SolidWorks I can rotate this model around and view this model okay so there's a couple of extra steps you have to do in SolidWorks I'm gonna hit um, I've got import diagnostics no faulty faces or gaps remain in the geometry just going to hit OK to that okay and that way we're good down here you can see this is a third party solid body stat right so now I'm going to convert it into sheet metal so here we've got all these different tabs in SolidWorks and here I've got my sheet metal tab okay so with my sheet metal tab I'm going to select convert to sheet metal if I convert it to a sheet metal it pulls up this image here I can rotate this model around and on here I'm gonna select the face right and then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna collect all the bends okay so instead of selecting each bend I just collect them all on all the faces there and it's collected all the bends and I'm just going to hit this green check mark again right so when I hit that green check mark it should convert it over give us a second SolidWorks is using a lot of resources I'm actually running with a Surface Pro so it does pretty good I actually have a MacBook Pro mid-2012 and I'm actually running Radan, Radan Designer all that on my MacBook Pro in a Windows environment using um, oh, the partitioning on the Mac okay so if I rotate this around this is now converted to a sheet metal pattern right I'm now gonna come in here I can flatten this model and there's my layout my stretch out my flat pattern my blank whatever you want to call it so now I'll just unflatten that and fold it back up I'm actually going to save this so file save as and we'll call it printer SAT import SolidWorks alright and I'm just going to hit save right so we've got it to that step right and this is the other part I wanted to show you I want to be able to convert that unfold it everything but in rad bend when when you're using offline bending I can actually come in here and I can go 
um, up to the file menu here and I can go to tools and you can see I've got some plugins within SolidWorks or some add-ins I should say well I've got some other add-ins here where I've got Radbend and this is uh, offline bending software brought to you by Hexagon and the production software team there and um, works really well so if I come in here I can uh, export the part but I'm actually going to open the Radbend so if I open Radbend it should pop open may take a, a minute because SolidWorks processing a lot of information to pass through the flat blank and creating everything on there right why would you worry about passing this to an offline bending program right because you've done your sheet metal parts you unfolded it well what if you decide to change tools on the press break wouldn't it be great to pass it into the offline bending program update that flat pattern based on the tools you're using maybe you go to a bigger bottom v die right or maybe a bigger radius punch tip so that's the benefits of offline bending as well okay so it's opened up here and there we go it's launching it into rad bend you can see all my bends in this in this case so here's my flat bank my flat blank sorry so take a look keep an eye on this my 17634 and my 49121 and we're going to come in here and i'm going to select a material right i'm just going to go with steel right now um, i'm actually going to select a machine it loads my upper tool and lower tool and then i'm just going to hit automatic and i'm using my wheeler tools here on this machine okay you may use tools from wilson you may use tools from mate you may use tools from everybody wherever um, in this particular configuration i'm using wheeler so it's uh, determining all the finger stop configurations for all the bends and the bend operations um, to make sure all the fingers are hit um, tooling is lined up fingers are lined up right and there we go guys now we've got our program and you'll notice that our flat blank did change because of the tools we're using okay so now you can come in and you can sim simulation do run the simulation and you can simulate that okay so i'm going to pause there and with the simulation you're able to view in on your press break and do that when when you've done the simulation you can then update the 3d pattern or the metadata and then you can up unfold that as a dxf if you're not using radan for nesting and you're using something else but you're using radband for offline bending you can do that there as well hey that's it just wanted to show you this was just a little bit extra to show you at the very end right so um, I, hope, I hope that video explains everything and what I did and how I opened it. Have a great day and have a great rest of the week.